First up, it's Hollywood vs Silicon Valley, as Elon Musk wades into a row over alleged left-wing bias at Disney. The House of Mouse parted ways with The Mandalorian star Gina Carano in 2021 due to her conservative views. Carano has lashed out at Disney on Fox News. I mean, you were at one of the biggest perches in the entertainment field, and now, next day, you were canceled. What I've learned is that if this can happen to me, this can happen to anyone. I am uh, I'm easy to work with, and I am passionate about what we do. I am always excited to be on set. I even worked with them as much as I possibly could to resolve any issues that they had. But, you know, eventually you have a line, and, you know, when that line gets crossed, you just have to say, enough, enough is enough. Now she's taking Disney to court and she has the backing of Musk, who is, at this time of the recording, the richest person in the world. Now Musk has gone further, hinting to reporters that he might be looking to acquire Disney. You look like a pilot. Thanks, so I'm a pilot. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> looking cool. So what brings you to the Lola carpet? I'm just, uh, just here with friends, you know, thinking about companies to acquire. Musk has sharpened his attacks on Disney in the last week and published an internal diversity and inclusion memo that was doing the rounds of the company. And the general ridicule surrounding Disney has amped up recently, with the film and TV giant being lampooned for its diversity and inclusion efforts by South Park. But then Kennedy's like, it's not our fault, it's because of Kathleen Kennedy. But then Kathleen Kennedy's just like, f*** it, make it my name. And everyone in town is like, no, please, Kathleen Kennedy, stop ruining everything. But Kathleen Kennedy is all like, put another gay diverse woman in it, make it my f name. And the Disney stock just keeps going down and down and down. And then Bob Iger is all like, eh, no, it's going to have a nice house. Online commentators have rallied behind Gina Carano, arguing she was merely exercising freedom of speech. Gina Carano was fired because she said that people should be allowed to have dissenting political views. People should be allowed to live in peace, regardless of what their religion is or regardless of what they believe. So, since when do we not agree with that? Disney fired her for saying that. And fans of Elon Musk are getting pretty enthusiastic about the prospect of a hostile takeover of Disney. A fan page has posted this image of the Tesla boss wielding a flamethrower with the caption, Elon Musk purging Disney-like. Now, guys, this is obviously not anything new, this whole Disney woke agenda. I'll start with you, James. What did you think of this whole situation? I mean, it, it's that South Park stuff, really. We were laughing about this just, just watching it. Uh, <laughs> you think it's funny, you think maybe South Park are taking the mic, they've gone too far with this. And then you go and try and watch some Disney products of the last couple of years. There was something that came out, I think, called Miss Marvel, is it from the Marvel oh, world, yeah. Disney and that. And it goes on about how evil the British Empire is. And it's about a, you know, a diverse character from new... And it's just, you think, really? This is the kind of entertainment I want. I want robots punching each other at Disney. <laughs> I want a princess meeting a prince. It's the time memorial. These are the kind mm. of nice stories that we want. And instead, we're getting this kind of nonsense sort of mm. forced down our throats. What Crazy. do you... What do you what, Maddie, what do you think about the fact that, you know, when Musk doesn't... Elon Musk doesn't agree with something, he might just buy the company like what he did with Twitter. Do you think that this is actually going to happen? Elon Musk is going to acquire Disney? Well, it's certainly he's certainly putting the cat amongst the pigeons and talking about possibly um, teaming up with um, Nelson Peltz um, to do some kind of hostile takeover. And, of course, he's already very much put his money where, where his mouth was in Twitter, now known as X. Um, a lot of people said, oh, this is a bad business decision by Elon Musk. But I think that really missed the point that what he was trying to do was to take over one of the most influential social media organs in the world and basically make it pro-free speech mm. and not allow the kind of shadow banning, et cetera, that has been a feature of all social media accounts. So for him, it's probably not about making money back on the investment. It's about yeah. promoting a cause that he believes in. And, I think taking, this case, a, and taking a stand with Gina yeah. Carano by saying, look, I'm going to back you. I'm going to pay yeah. your, your lawyer's bills because I don't think it's fair that you've been ousted from, you know, a franchise that you were so, you know, well-liked in. Yeah, and you know what, like... I think that they have a very good case because it's very obvious that, firstly, that other um, cast members in, 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 who are employed by Disney and other producers and so forth are on the record as making arguably even more inflammatory statements than what mm. she made, but from a left-wing perspective. So there's that aspect of it. And secondly, when they announced that they were parting ways with her, they did so in a very 
uh, emotionally charged way. They didn't just say, we're parting ways and we wish her the best. It was more, they said, we, we reject any uh, abhorrent um, use of cultural stereotypes. So this is, there's a reason in, mm. when people get laid off, they tend to have things said in that impartial way. And I think the, normally, under normal circumstances, what would happen is the person would probably settle out of, out of court. Disney does not want more publicity around this. But when you've got Elon Musk bankrolling you, <laughs> like, I think it could go all the way to the top. And then you would have to, if it ended up in court, Disney would start having to hand over sensitive communications mm. that relate to this case, which would also reflect very badly on them. So, mm. you know, I think, I don't think Elon Musk is in this for and money, no object to him. I don't think he's in this simply for an out-of-court mm. settlement. Well, it's funny because even with that South Park clip and it was showing Bob Iger kind of falling through whatever he was falling through, it's it's funny because he was brought back in to the company to kind of steer them away from this go woke, go broke agenda that had happened because Disney had lost $150 billion in the last however long since their heyday and the profits had plummeted 45% or something ridiculous like that under the former CEO, Bob Chapek, for whatever woke ideologies they had kind of invested in. So it kind of begs the question, is there a future for Disney? Is this, are they, sat, like, can this be saved? Well, I think the problem is Bob Iger, as you say, he was in there, this other chap comes in, Iger is brought back again. Even if you are someone at the top of one of these organisations, if the woke mind virus gets so infiltrated all the way through a system, mm. it's very hard to get that kind of root and branch reform to get it out. I think, I think people talking about this as a virus is actually quite a useful way to think about it because once it gets in there, it's not about making profit mm -hmm. for these people, right? These people don't care about this stuff. They've been told since the time at university that diversity and equity and inclusion is the best thing ever and that to be a racist is the worst thing in the world and racism means whatever you want it to mean, all this kind of stuff. Once it gets there, the profit motive goes out the window mm -hmm. and all you have is this kind of destructive point. And, and Mantis makes a great point about Elon Musk. The guy is trying to make the, the, um, the, the human race a multi-planetary species and has got all these other amazing things about getting us off into Mars and all the rest of it. And he looks down at home, he sees, as most of us do, this mind virus is taking over all these institutions. Mm. And if he can get things like Twitter and Disney and try and uh, turn the culture back towards some kind of sanity, then he, people like him can get back to work on the serious and important things of getting us off into the stars. Well, it's definitely something we're going to be watching closely because the the whatever happens with this case will be such an example of, you know, is it right or is it wrong? How do we kind of steer the line? How do we make sure that you know, female actresses or female actors, any, any actors are kind of protected with that freedom of speech.